Any word from Manning or Rappaport? No, sir. I heard some shouting a minute ago, but everything seems quiet now. There was always part of Todd that I... That I couldn't reach something... Just something always walled in. Well, let's hope Sam can scale that wall. What are you afraid of? Back off, Sam. Just back off and shut up. I don't know what your problem is. You know, I only let you in here because I, you said you were going to try and help me. Well, that's exactly Well, you're not you helping me, all right? What kind of help is this? All you want to do is talk about stuff that happened a long time ago. That's exactly... Stuff that I'd rather forget. No, that's the point. The stuff you want to forget is the stuff that's kept you running your whole life. Now, what do you want from me? I want the truth about that night. Shut up about that night! Nobody, and I mean nobody, is going to get me to talk about what happened that night. But nothing happened. Except you tried to kill your father. Okay? He came home, found you with Michelle, found you with the lighter that he'd used to burn you Shut for up. years. Shut up! Just shut up, Sam! You. you can't make me talk about this. I'm not going to talk about it. After everything Todd's put me through, I thought I'd finally washed my hands of him. Todd holds on to me with his suffering. And the more he covers, the more drawn I feel. Mm. That must be how it is with Sam and him. I think Sam's the father Todd never had. And should have. Todd, you have to talk about it. Because talking about whatever it was that happened that night is the only way you will ever be set free. Where you get off talking to me like that, huh? You know, you're not, you're not my father. You, you have this sick need to be my father. You're not my father. My father's dead. They're both dead. And they were both. Both what? What? I mean, what was, what was the same about Victor Lord and Peter Manning? They were both miserable bastards. So what? Well, why don't you tell me? I mean, something happened that night to turn you into a violent, angry person. You just shut down. You're so full of it. Your father abused you, didn't he? Yeah. So what? I survived. <laughs> you survived? Yeah. You call this survival? You didn't. You didn't, Todd. Who's holding who in this room, huh? Yeah. Who's running? Who's still running? Who's been running from the pain his whole life? No pain. No pain. Right. I think I know what happened that night. You don't know anything? I know. I know that... that Peter Manning did something terrible to you that night. Something he never should have done. And I want you to tell me what that was. Yeah, I already did. No. I don't think you did. I think Peter Manning taught you a lesson. Shut up, Sam. You would, you would never forget. Sam, shut up. I think that, that he made you turn around and no. try to kill him no. for a reason. I think he used no. you in charge. Shut up, Sam! Your father tried to rape you. Did he rape you, Todd? That's it, isn't it? Peter Manning raped you. Are you sick? You really did. Peter is sicko. I can't believe I never noticed that about you before. The more you deny it, the more sure I am that I'm absolutely right. It didn't happen. There is no way that I would ever let anybody do anything to me like that. I'm strong. Strong? You were 14. You were a boy. And you stood up to him. You defied his authority, and he couldn't deal with it, and he had to humble you. Shut up, sir. You shut up! You shut up! You lying, sick bastard! Fine. You want to be my father, I'll make you my father, and I'll kill you the way I should have killed him! Oh, and I'll kill you. I'll kill you! Not me! I'm gonna kill you! I'm not the one you want to kill! Sam. Todd. I'm right. Peter Manning tried to... No. 
You raped her? No, no, you raped you're wrong, you're wrong. No, and I was there that night. That's what kills me. I was there. I saw you. I should have known something. Something happened to make you lose control like that, and I didn't see a thing, and I'm so sorry. I am sorry. There's nothing to be sorry for. You know, you... you you just watch too much television, that's all. It's all the, those talk shows, you know, they're, they're, they're fake, you know, they're not this real. This is not, real. This is real. real. It is. No, it's not real. It's not real. You gotta talk about this. If you're gonna get over it, if you're gonna get past it, you have to talk about it. You have to admit it. What's it gonna take to get through to you, Sam? Okay, fine, but... I flipped out. That's it. I flipped out, and, 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 and I damn near killed him, and I wish I had. I got it. Your father flipped out. Your father just about killed you. And you're protecting him. All these years, you've been protecting what he did to you. And you gotta punish yourself for that. Todd, it all makes sense now, don't you understand? It all makes sense why you are the way you are, why you do what you do, why you can't let the people that love you, love you. There's a lot of people who love you. Your daughter, your sister, Taya, Blair. Todd, I love you. And I wish to God I'd been your father. I wish I was your father then. I wish I was your father now. I never would have let that happen. You gotta trust me. Tell me. Am I right? the door you take the point stand back time's up manning we're coming in todd look this doesn't have to happen all right surrender i can make a difference how how can you make a difference i'm not going back to jail you don't have to you don't have to just let me use what i learned today in court you i can one word from your sick, twisted mind. Anyone hears about your demented little fantasy, I'll kill you. Listen to me. Listen to me. This could be a way out for you, for, for, for all of us. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Don't shoot! No, don't, don't, don't shoot! He's not armed! He's... Somebody shoot me! You're not taking me alive! I'm going to shoot you. Shoot! Daddy! 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 Put your weapons up! What is she doing here? I did what you said, Daddy. It worked. That made you come back. Get her out of here. Todd. I'm ready. Come from. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be provided to you without cost. If you do not have an attorney available, you have the right to remain silent until you've had an opportunity to speak with one. Do you understand these rights as I've read them to you? Yes, I do. I am Mr. Manning's attorney, and I will accompany him to the police station. And I'll kill you. That's it. Let's go.
See you again, Manny. Back in here. You know you're gonna spend the rest of your life in a cell like this? Well, maybe Nora will visit Rachel up in Statesville. Sam will probably come visit me. Maybe the two of them can ride up there together. Who knows what they'll do in that car, all alone. You spend an awful lot of time thinking about sex, don't you? For a guy whose idea of good time is roughing up women, hurting them, dominating them. You're never gonna hurt a person I love, ever again. They're gonna bury you. Alive. we have to talk about before the uh, preliminary hearing. We have some decisions that we have to make. Just get me out of here. I can't do that. And if I told you anything else, I'd be lying to you, and I'm not about to start doing that now. That bad, huh? Yeah, it's that bad. There is not one shred of sympathy for you out there. People are lining up to testify against you. It's, uh, it's awful. Look, I got a client who has no visible redeeming qualities and shows no sign of remorse. You understand me? I mean, you've done some lousy things in your life, but I have to be able to get up there and tell them why. I have to get up there and tell them about Peter Manning and what he did to you and the torture no. and the abuse you no. suffered. I have Sam. to be able to tell people about no. what you did when you were 14 years old that made you want to kill him. No! No. <laughs> Next stop, state. Do I you wish. Give me a soda or something, would you? Looks like the cowboy clan is looking for a hanging party. Yeah, well, let's just hope that cowboys forgot their rope. All right. The Court of Common Pleas for the City of Landview, Lantana County, is now hearing evidence in the matter of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania versus Todd Manning, the Honorable Norma J. Calloway presiding. Be seated. This is a preliminary hearing to determine the future of this case. Mr. Gannon. Thank you. Your Honor, the Commonwealth intends to show that on the night of June 25th, the defendant, Todd Manning, took 14 people hostage in a lodge situated here in Landview and threaten him with bodily harm. He is therefore charged with 14 counts of kidnapping, 14 counts of illegal restraint, 14 counts of simple assault, 14 counts of terroristic threats, two counts of aggravated assault, one count of burglary and criminal trespass, and two counts of possession of an instrument of crime. When you and Max Holden arrived at the Buchanan Lodge, what did you do? Well, we knocked on the door and then the alarm went off. And then what happened? Todd came to the door and let us in. And did Mr. Manning threaten you? Not really. No? No. He had dynamite strapped to him, but it wasn't really dynamite. What did he say dynamite, he would do so with the dynamite? He said that he would blow us to smithereens unless someone confessed to Georgie Phillips' murder, but like I said, it wasn't really dynamite. Now see, but at the time, you thought it was. Well, for a while. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And you were in fear for your life? <laughs> well, 
I knew that Dodd, he, he wouldn't really do it. <laughs> then why didn't you leave? Well, just in case he did. So in other words, Mr. Manning held you against your will, didn't he? I guess. Todd insisted that uh, I call everyone who could have been present at the lodge the night that Georgie Phillips was murdered. He wanted them all to be there. And did you do that? I didn't have a choice. He had my mother at knife point. You're damn straight, I thought. Hell, I knew I was going to die. That SOB man, he wouldn't even call for an ambulance. Instead, he has the audacity to walk over to me, look me in the eye, and say right to my face, die, you old man. I have no further questions. You may step down, Mr. Buchanan. I would not have this heart attack, ma'am. It wasn't by him. Please step down. Your next witness, Mr. Gannon? Yeah, the Commonwealth calls Taya Delgado Manning. Place your right hand in the Bible and repeat after me. I, Taya Delgado Manning. I, Taya Delgado Manning. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. To tell the truth. To tell the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. Mrs. Manning, so you were, in fact, as much of hostage as any of the others? Yes. In some ways, more so. All right, let's skip ahead to the period where Kevin Buchanan had taken the defendant to the shallow grave site where Georgie Phillips' body was found. Can you tell us what happened then? There was a lot of confusion after... after Rachel Gannon admitted to having killed Georgie Phillips. Todd slipped away into the woods. And when did you see Mr. Manning again? A short while later, I went looking for him. I told him he had no hope of escaping. Did he give himself up? No. Instead, he took me hostage. He tied me up in the garden shed behind my affair. Where? Finally, I was able to escape. Because you tricked me. Oh, shut up, man. Oh, shut up. I will not tolerate any further outbursts of this kind. Is that understood? We're uh, sorry, Your Honor. It won't happen again. Continue. Thank you. I did trick Todd. I managed to convince him that I would help him if he untied me. Once I was free, I grabbed a garden shovel and knocked him out. I then tied him up with the ropes he'd used on me. Then, I called the police. Mrs. Manning, do you believe the defendant to be a menace to society? Objection, Your Honor. What she believes is not relevant to this. Not story. relevant? How can you say that what I have lived through in the past few weeks Order. is not relevant? Sit down. <sighs> Mr. Rappaport. This is a preliminary hearing. You're overruled. You may answer the question. Yes. I do believe Todd Manning is a menace to society. And furthermore, I recommend that he be prosecuted and punished to the full extent of the law. I have no further witnesses, Your Honor. In that case... Your Honor, uh, may I address the court? Mr. Rappaport. Your Honor, I know it's not customary in these preliminary hearings for the defense to call witnesses. It's not customary, nor is it going to be done. No, it's not, Your Honor, because the witness who should be in this courtroom today is not here. And that witness would be Peter Manning, Todd Manning's father. He is deceased, and therefore I would like to speak about him. No, and it is to Mr. Manning. One more outburst from you, and I will have you gagged. Is that clear? You may proceed, Mr. Rappaport, but this had better be relevant. Thank you. 
All of us who were at the uh, Buchanan Lodge that night saw the very worst of Todd Manning. We saw a violent, angry, obsessive, and completely out of control man. Now, we saw the effect of Todd Manning's behavior, but none of us saw the cause of his behavior. The cause being a childhood raised by a man who consistently belittled, beat, berated, and tortured this man here. This blame that Terrence Bull makes me sick to my stomach. I wonder if you would be so quick to say that. If you had seen, like I did, the welts on this young boy's back that were given to him by his father with the buckle end of a belt. Those wounds took years to heal. I wonder if you'd say that if you had seen the burn marks on his hand from the cigarette lighter his father used to torture him with. Those wounds took years to heal. That's what this is about today. Healing. Todd Manning committed acts of violence because he had violent acts committed against him by the very man who should have been protecting him, who should have been saving him, and didn't. At the same time, Todd Manning, father, you should see this man with his daughter's star. He is the most gentle, the most loving, the most kind father a child could ever want. Now, that's the father that I knew as a young boy. He was loving, intelligent, gifted. That young boy is still in Todd Manning. That young boy is still salvageable. That's why today I would beg the court to allow Todd Manning to undergo therapy or counseling so that he can become the man that he should have been, the man that he would have been if his father had not consistently tried to destroy him. Your Honor, I would beg the court not to add to the horror that this man has experienced, but to end the horror in his life. Then, in my book, justice would truly be served. Mr. Manning, your attorney has drawn a very harrowing picture of your childhood. However, despite harrowing circumstances, the great majority of children go on to lead productive, well-adjusted lives. At some point, we must all accept responsibility for our actions. Accordingly, I see no reason not to proceed to trial. That's all I need to hear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Since I could add the charge of attempted bribery to those you're already facing, Mr. Manning, I am forced to conclude that you have only contempt for the laws of this country and for your fellow citizens. And I think it only fair, therefore, that 12 of your fellow citizens should decide your ultimate fate. This court is adjourned. Your Honor, Your Honor, there's something else this court should know about Todd Manning's childhood. Taking any chances with Todd Manning. He's sick. The man is sick. EMS is on his way. Excuse me, you put these on him, I'm gonna have you up on abuse charges so fast your head'll spin. You'd be my guest. What's going on? Oh well, Manning's playing dead. What do you mean? He just took a dive as soon as the judge ruled against him. Hold on a second. Hey, Todd. Yeah, you can hear me. You Get away from here. All right. That's fine, but anybody who believes this bull roller, you're all being taken for a ride. 
Todd. Todd, don't give up on this game. Don't give up on me now, pal. Hang tough. You'll make it. Just hang tough. What do you think, Hank? This is the real thing? Go to tell you the truth. All I can think about right now is Rachel. So far, nobody can find anything wrong with Todd, man. Yeah, how come that's no surprise? You okay, Tia? I was thinking of the look on his face when he realized I was having him arrested. I hit him with a garden shovel, you know. Any lasting injury from that would have turned up by now. I was thinking of the kind of injury that doesn't show up. Doctor, how is he? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary showed up on the CAT scan. But I've ordered more tests, and hopefully we'll get some answers. Incredible. What? Let me see this. What are you doing? I'm going to run my own test. He's in a catatonic state. We don't know if it's voluntary or involuntary at this point. His EEG indicates normal brainwave function. inside you somewhere. I'm not one of those people. Because I know you. And that's why I know you're playing possum. But, you know, for those uh, few believers that are still left, why don't you just knock it off? Rise and shine. Give us some of that uh, old Manning sarcasm. Huh? No? Okay. Actually, this is a very good thing. You know why? Because you won't be able to rape any women when you're playing unplugged. And as for the newspaper business, well, I'll pretty much own the field, won't I? Matter of fact, I wouldn't be surprised if I end up owning the sun. And while I'm at it, I'm going to help raise Star, too. Matter of fact, I'm gonna raise her like a little Buchanan. That would make you very happy, wouldn't it, Tom? Wow. Yeah, you're good. I gotta admit, I'm very impressed. I really am. Okay, well. I almost forgot something very important. It's the pin test. Have you ever had a pin rammed into your shoulder? Let's see if that'll get you talking, Todd. Hey, Kevin! Hey, come on, Hey, come on! Hey, come on! What the hell are you doing? Come on, Todd! Are you crazy? Come on, man, and talk! Scream! Yell, baby! I know you want to! Yell! Yeah, you don't have to hang around. Yeah, why should I? I'm only his wife. And name only, Taya. Funny thing is, I, I thought today would finally be the end. Todd would be held over for trial and move the rest of the way out of my life and into a prison cell. And I would get to move on. Instead, there he is, and here I am. I gotta talk to him. Tell you, you don't owe him anything. Maybe not, but I gotta see him. I, I still can see him, right? I'm, I'm his wife. They can't stop me. Look, I'll find out for you, okay? Okay. Yeah. Hey, Hank. Yeah. I'm gonna take off, uh, go home, check on Nora and Rachel. Okay. Take care. You take care of yourself, okay? Son? I think you handled this whole situation today very well. I'm proud of you. Stephen, thank you. It means a lot coming from the past and future, Commissioner. 
From your mouth to the governor's here. I see it, son. Okay. Mrs. Manning. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. My mistake. You better frisk the current Mrs. Manning for blunt objects. Like shovels. in there. 